Hey guys, hope everybody's having a pleasant day. Today we are here to get the rogues outfit from the rogues den with a little guide. So the mini game itself can be found in the Burfoot pub, located east of the Warriors Guild and south of the Burfoot games room. Easy teleport methods to the location can be found using the game's necklace teleport and running this path, or using the combat bracelets Warriors Guild teleport and running east. The only necessary requirements for the Rose Den are 50 agility and 50 thieving. And the main reason to do the minigame would be the Rogue's outfit. Each piece of the Rogue's outfit can increase the chance of double loot by 20%. The full outfit of the boots, the gloves, the mask, the top and the trousers guarantees double loot on each successful pickpocket. So guys, when completing your Rogue's Den run, you want to make sure that you've got nothing in your inventory and you also have nothing equipped. And then all you have to do is for your first run, you need to talk to Richard O'Brien, who is located back here, I believe. There he is, Brian or Richard, sorry. He basically tells you he has a challenge for you and that when you click on this doorway, it will begin. So I've marked out a load of tiles for the route that I personally take. Uh, I take the longer route. If you have, I believe it's 84 thieving, you can do the faster route but I only have access to the long route, so that's what I'll be showing you. So off the bat, you want to make sure that you are at this tile here. When we run across the wand trap, I believe it's up to three. They do not activate. We're going to be taking advantage of that a lot during this. So make sure you're on this tile, run to this tile here. Then all you have to do is click on the contortion bars. Once again, I've marked out just my normal route on the tiles. We go through the pendulum. This is by far the easiest room to bypass. You want to come click here, onto here, and then run right the way along to this mark tile here. Then you want to click diagonally and open this up. So for this room, you're going to want to stand here. You're going to want to click through here, come down to this mark tile, across to this one, across diagonally, and then across to the exit. Now for this room, all you have to do is make sure you can either do it from this tile or this tile, they both work. Uh, I like to do it from this one just to make sure, but we click to the middle and then to the end. And that bypasses the two traps here. Uh, from this direction, we wanna head to the right path and we wanna climb the ledge. At this crossroad here, we want to take the right path, not the left. And simply step on one of the blades. Perfect. Then you want to head north. Just click through the pendulums. Climb the ledge, even though I don't get how this is climbing, but there we go. We climbed the ledge. You want to click through to this mark tile here. Actually thinking about it, no you don't. You wanna come here, you wanna click here. Ignore these. This is wrong. You wanna click here, you wanna click here, you wanna click here. And that way we can save some fever. From here, you wanna take the left. If you have the short route, you can pick up those doors. Click on the blade. enter this passageway over here you want to click here we want to bypass this trap by clicking here and then all you want to do is click this mark tile over here or just enter the passageway and it automatically paths you through a safe run open this grill click on this uh, tile here because we want to avoid this completely and go to the left and climb the ledge. Okay, you want to make sure that you're on this tile here. We want to search the first one as we can only bypass three, not four. Then run across to this tile. 
Now, when you're standing in front of this specific blade and you click over here, it paths you perfectly and you don't waste anything. There's four tiles in this room. We're going to be picking up the one closest towards the actual door itself on the right. Uh, all you have to do then, select it and it puts you through the door. Now, if you want to slow this bit down, guys, I would recommend to do so. Uh, I've already marked my uh, path for going through here, but if you want to slow it down and watch which path I go through, you are more than welcome to. But I'm going to go through the door to the south, to the east, to the north, southeast, all the way south, northwest, west and south then we are going to want to run all the way along here no clue why i'll mark that tile we carry on we move now from here you want to make sure you are standing on this specific tile as mentioned before you can bypass free traps Similarly here, we are going to want to run straight across these. We're going to want to go one tile to the uh, west. And we are going to want to run across these. Make sure you take that click to that tile or it will not work. You want to go to one tile before this floor trap and cross it. You are going to want to come over here. And then simply click on the tiles in between that are marked. Just like that. Same thing here. Click every tile in between the visible floor traps. You are gonna wanna come down here and grab the flash tile that is on the right. going to want to use the flash powder on a road guard preferably this one then simply run east run south through these two pendulums and then loot the wall safe and hope that we get rogues out of it ah we found a rogue kit okay but as you can see 492 drop on thieving and i believe it was for uh an agility sorry and 40 on thieving or it was the other way around i can't actually remember but there we go there we go 24 thieving 492 agility so what we want to see is the rogues crate which will give us a rogue equipment piece we can build a rogue kit and you can make a spade a chisel a rope or a tinder box obviously not worth it if you're a hardcore iron man and you're just starting like i am on this account then i would recommend cooking salmon between your runs to get 100 energy back but that is basically a completed run hopefully guys you will get the gist of how to complete the rogues den mini game you just have to keep doing runs until you get all the item pieces hopefully the guide was easy enough to follow feel free to go back and check if you want to make sure you're going the right routes or anything but yeah enjoy make sure that you like you follow you subscribe all that good stuff uh, i will link more videos on the end screen and yeah i'll see you all soon have a good one now, face the mighty bison.